Pokeville is situated at the confluence of the Bear River and Smith Forks Valleys. Between 1812 and 1868, these valleys were the domain of the American Indians. Fur trappers and traders, during the 1830s and the 40s, they became a well-traveled pathway of emigrant trains traveling to Oregon and California. Known as Smith's Fork on the Bear River to fur trappers and pioneers, Cokeville acquired its permanent name after the discovery of nearby coal deposits that produced coke, an intense burning, virtually smokeless product. The Mormon Church sent the first permanent settlers to the area in 1874 to found a community. Sylvanus Collette, changing the center of the main settlement to the vicinity of the tracks. Prior to 1908, Cokeville consisted of two saloons, a hotel, a general store, and a boarding house. In the next nine years, incorporated and added a state bank, newspaper, water system, and electric lighting. In 1922, Cokeville made national headlines when Ethel Stoner became mayor and two other females won seats on the town council. And Robert G. arrived with their families at the Smith's Fork River, soon to be followed by Jordan Byrne family. The men trapped, hunted, and traded for hides, furs, and extra meat for supplies in Evanston, Wyoming, and about 70 miles south. The trip to Evanston was arduous. Winter journeys were sometimes made on the frozen Barrow River. The launching of the Oregon Short Line in 1881 made travel easier. The railroad simulated trade. The women ran on a law enforcement ticket, although once in office they found local police disinclined to enforce prohibition laws then in force. After U.S. Highway 30 was commissioned through the town in 1926, then surfaced with oil in 1935, Cokeville found itself on a major cross-country route. The highways continue to play an important role in the town's economy. Now entering Idaho. Mm -hmm. It's like 6 p.m. Stormy clouds ahead. I am in Diamondville, Wyoming, at a Tizzo Spring, Idaho. This super sucks. It's pouring down rain. This is about to enter lava hot springs. Uh, don't really. Falling for you must be gravity. My attraction. So here we are at Soda Springs Geyser. in lava hot springs. It was funny, somebody at the pool thought that I was, I looked like the guy who plays the cop in Sons of Anarchy. And people were asking for my autograph. It's nuts. I told them I wasn't that person. Anyways, it was pouring down rain when I got in the pools and stopped for a little while and started again. So now I'm off to Pocatello. 